Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I am already on my way... All right. Who else is racing? Okay. Move on it. my way towards the Peller's Hut to find out why he made that amulet for Anna, the Baron's wife. So we'll, uh, we'll see what the man can tell us, but... Oh! Whoa there, Roach. So, let's see what she has to say. Help an old feeble woman! What's wrong? To their night blasphemers, pox take and profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Her cows will croak, the kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. Okay, we'll help you. Warts and mange? Sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll help you. So, let's see what we can... Uh do here just put it back up and the gold should be pleased now done the good gods have sent ye to me someone to repair their shrines from this day on look already got a trade i'm a witcher restoring traditional roadside structures in wood just not my specialty fight evil that's a witcher's calling and vandals are worse than beasts she has a point Fine. I see any damaged shrines. I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts. And the gods will guide ye. So that's a little quest on the side. Roach has wandered off. We're not gonna Come bother on. with that for now, but we'll take it nonetheless. I've also taken the time in between to... Oh. That's just another village, I presume. To uh, c clear out my inventory a bit. So uh, I have a bit more space for what's to come. Not that I think that we'll have uh, much in the name of new items in the area here. So the Balor's a bit of has a bit of trouble. Is in trouble. And now we want? as well. Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got Tibbs on a chat with him. A long one. Oh, huh. maybe we can try our Axie ability here. Think you need to leave now. Do we? You do. Oh my. Well, let's go then. That was all of them. Holy shit. That was cool. <sighs> then he knew that would work. Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. Because normally when you do that with multiple people, one of those starts to freak out. Mr. Peller. Hey, Hello? anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey. Though not old. Tis he the Peller awaits. Okay. He seems to be expecting us. You were expecting me. Aye. As the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is ripe and death, but the wolf shall disperse them. The white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. And the ability. Recognize this. Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. Hmm. So you did make it. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. Yeah, that might have been an issue. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was. Evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion. From dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? He sounds like a politician. Not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. 
A small protective charm. Not a thing more Appella could do. Okay. So we're looking for them if you wouldn't have to deduce that already. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay. No, nay. Pella don't know. But hmm. the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Oh, there we go. Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! God damn it. Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Not without well, the goat, goat probably. Yeah. Oh, okay. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. So, we'll find the goat. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to go? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing! She loves it! Ring, ring, and she will follow! But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. So, what he mentioned about the... So, I have the bell equipped. What he mentions about the strawberries and the raspberries is actually really good advice since the goat will be distracted by anything it comes across that it can eat so if we take care of everything down the road oh that was a stunning doing its work great i don't see any strawberries Yet. This way, I think. Honey suckle. But I heard something big over here. So might as well check that out. A bear! What now? Poisoning. That's great. And then a nerd inside. And down goes the bear. So normally uh, the goat would lead you to the bear, but I wanted to avoid that little side route. Because I would have to protect the goat as well. I'm gonna check out the cave really quickly. I don't think there's anything of interest in here. There you are. Come on, let's go see the better. So now that we have the goat, we just lure it along using Should I guess too much? What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? This way, your grace. So, back at the pallor with Princess, Princess the Goat. Flee not from the pillar for there are wolves about. Stupid goat. Goat of mine! 
dearest, sweetest goat. You should kill that thing. Seriously. It's annoying. So now. Help me. Happy for you, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The white wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. I helped you twice. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Uh, seriously? Fine. Be right back. What do I have to kill now? Okay. I suppose I don't need to do anything. Oh, where the hell did you find that? Will this do? Suppose that's a yes. Just a child. A child that lives not, yet did not die. And that's a new clue. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful, or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Hmm. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. Okay. The Baron probably had something to do with this, but... The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. So, we need to base our assumptions on the goat. What happened to the child? In a grave throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help, lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Okay, so a botchling is a creature that arises when a, that child is, that baby is uh, buried without a ritual, without a ceremony, without it ever being cared for. So that must be what happened to the child of Anna. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. First for everything. to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Okay, and why would you need its blood? Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? 
At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefather's eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefather's eve this year. But we'll find a way all the same. So hinting at a little side quest, so maybe I'll ask him about right. that. You mentioned forefather's eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. So a way to finish off unhandled business with the dead for the living left behind. So I need to know where the botchling is. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Yes, he should. So let's get back to the Baron at once. Oh, and the game also informs me that I should read the bestiary to learn more about botchlings, which we'll do right now. So, botchlings. Saying a botchling's ugly is like saying shit's not particularly tasty. Can't say it's a lie, but it doesn't exactly convey the whole truth either. Lambert, which will get the meat in uh, the future. Witcher of the Wolf School. Botchlings are perhaps the most repulsive creatures a witcher will ever have the displeasure of meeting. Born of dead, unwanted babies discarded without a proper burial, their appearance is that of a partially decayed fetus, their unformed flesh twisted with hate, fear and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women, driven by a mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. So not a, a friendly thing at first glance. We don't know how it looks yet, so uh, let's go find out. And go back to the Baron. Lightning strike. And as we approach Crow's Perch again, we see that a part of it is set on fire. So we need to hurry to get there in time to see if we can do anything to help. So instead of parking my horse here like I did last time, I'm gonna ride straight up to the fire. Ah. And you see someone already mentioning that the Baron is responsible for the fire. So let's go see what really happened. So the stables are on fire. And nobody Oswin. seems to be doing anything. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that oh. simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. And the horse is in the way. Stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. So of course Hurry we're gonna down, try and help quick. him. So I just saved because this is actually on a time limit. And I'm gonna try to avoid the Baron and get straight into the stable for now. Let's try and save Damn it. the Lots stable hand. Hurry. So I equip Art to blast through anything in my way. Drop down. I'm gonna try and blast the doors open. So, opening the gate behind that rubble sets the horses and the stable hand free. 
before they die in the fire. But now, what happened to the Baron that he uh, is raging out like that? So he's clearly drunk. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? The Don't truth. Don't me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? So, now we're stuck in a fist fight with him. They ran from you, didn't they? Lying trick! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? So try to parry him when he attacks. That way you get in a few shots. And when he has enough, we can continue this conversation. There we go. And another time. Yeah, for good measure. You fucking idiot. We need to talk. And is nobody gonna try and put that fire out? Well, the rain will take care of that probably. Nice transition again. So. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Probably because you abused her mother. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other. She knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. He still feels like he's in the right. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? <laughs> and now? Gotta admit I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. Okay. Go ahead. All right. I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. 
Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. So we also know about the... the baby. At first... Tomorrow present for all this? She see you quarrel? Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and a pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table. Spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked right out. You did. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. And everyone else is afraid of him, so nobody dare tell him the truth about what happened. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew. She'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Okay. So now to the matter at hand, after that horrible story, what did you do with the child? Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Because of you. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. You're the heartless Mutations bastard. worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? Yeah, we kill it we and draw some blood. Take attack. that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Okay, let's go do this. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Okay, here we go. The sooner we resolve this, the better. 
Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And There's try to sober up. Apparently keeps it out. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Because it'll probably already be out of its grave. 